Are you an engineer looking to take your career to the next level? And do you want to develop your management and leadership skills while still being involved in technical projects? Well, if so, you need to know about the Masters in Engineering Management. An MIM degree is the most commonly known as the Engineer's MBA. It's the only program that focuses on techno management. Plus, with this degree, you can expect to earn a lucrative salary of more than $110,000. Furthermore, the job outlook for engineering managers is very promising. A report predicts that the employment in this field is projected to grow 3% from 2020 to 2030, which is about as fast as the average for all the occupations involved. This means that there will be a plenty of job opportunities for those with a Masters in Engineering Management degree. In addition to it, a Masters in Engineering Management can open a wide range of career paths for you. You could work in industries such as manufacturing, construction, Construction to aerospace or even healthcare. You could also pursue roles such as project manager, operations manager, or even CEO at some point in your life. The possibilities are endless. Hey guys, my name is Dipanshu Singh and I'm a study abroad expert at MMSA and MentorMe. And in this video, we'll be discussing the benefits of pursuing a master's in engineering management, the types of skills you can expect to develop, career prospects available to graduates and much more. But before we begin, just don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to MMSA to get all the latest study abroad updates. First of all, for those of you who don't know about this degree, well, engineering management is a field that combines the technical skills of engineering with the leadership and management skills, which are needed to manage projects and teams. So if you're an engineer who wants to take on more responsibility and move up the career ladder, a master's in engineering management is definitely worth considering. Now, there seems to be a lot of demand and hype around graduates with this degree. So what's behind all the buzz? Let's dive in. Well, one of the main reasons that employers are so interested in graduates with a master's in engineering management is that these individuals bring a unique combination of technical and business skills to the table. Engineering management is all about using your technical expertise to solve complex problems while also being able to manage teams, projects and budgets effectively. And in today's fast-paced global business environment, companies need people who can not only develop cutting-edge products and technologies, but also bring those products to market quickly and efficiently. Graduates with Masters in Engineering Management are uniquely positioned to just do that. All these factors combine to create a lot of hype and demand for graduates with an MEM degree. So whether you're looking to advance your career in engineering or business or both, this degree can be a great way to position yourself as a valuable asset. Now, if you're wondering about the job roles and salaries after getting an MEM degree? I've got you covered. This degree can lead to a wide range of career opportunities such as engineering manager, project manager, technical director and more. As for the salary, it really depends on the specific job you land and your experience. But on an average, a project manager with an MEM degree could earn around $100,000 per year, an operations manager around $90,000 to $110,000 per year and you can also move on to become a product manager and earn more than $130,000 per year. Well, these are just a few examples and salaries will vary depending on industry and location. Now you might be wondering about the top schools and countries and recruiters for graduates in this field. When it comes to the top schools for this degree, you just can't go wrong with institutions like UC Berkeley, Georgia Tech, Caltech, University of Warwick, UBC and University of Edinburgh. As for the top countries, places like the US, Canada and the UK are all the great options. But don't forget about the other countries like Australia, Germany and Singapore, which also have excellent schools like University of Melbourne, Monash, Technical University of Munich and NTU. And speaking of career opportunities, some of the top recruiters for MEM graduates include big names like Amazon, Google, Apple, Apple, Microsoft, Tesla and Meta. So whether you are interested in working for a tech giant or posting a career in a different industry, getting a master's in engineering management can open a plethora of opportunities for you. Now that you have come so far, there's this one thing that you should keep in mind, which is the admission criteria. First and foremost, most programs will require that you have a bachelor's degree in engineering, management or a related field. Some programs may also require you to have a certain GPA or specific coursework in areas like math, science or business. Another important aspect of this admission process is your work experience and many programs prefer applicants who have a few years of professional experience in engineering or in the business field such as this can demonstrate your ability to apply what you learn in the program to real world situations. In addition to your academic and professional background, you will likely need to submit transcripts, LORs, SOPs outlining your goals and reasons for pursuing this degree. And that's where MIMSA comes in. Our experts are here to make that study abroad dream a reality. By booking a free 20 minute starting session, you'll get a personalized guidance on your study abroad journey and we'll help you with your LORs, SOPs and resumes as well. So just simply follow the link in the description to schedule your session right now. Now the big question comes up. What is the ROI? And many people who are considering a master's in engineering management are probably wondering about it. In general, a master's degree can help boost your earning potential. And according to the recent data from the US labor statistics, employees with a master's degree in engineering management earn a median salary of around $100,000 per year, which is significantly higher than the median salary for those with just a bachelor's degree. Of course, the ROI will depend on a variety of factors, including the cost of program that you choose, your earning potential in your chosen field, and the amount of debt you may incur to finance your education. So while the return on investment of a Masters in Engineering Management will vary from person to person. It's definitely something worth considering if you're looking to advance your career
career and increase your earning potential in this field. So guys, that's a wrap for today. I hope you found the information we shared today insightful and now you have a better understanding of the Masters in Engineering Management degree. But if you're still unsure which degree or country will take you closer to your career goals, why not take advantage of a free 20 minute strategy session with our experts? You can easily book your session using the link provided in the description below. And if you have any additional questions or need more clarity, just feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you found this information helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay updated on all the future content.